Hi, uh, Jordan, and I sing a lot of speed, and you're watching Project Green. Motivates you guys, so you yeah. get to hear the hum of the bus. <laughs> For sure. I don't know that I could ever, I don't know that I could ever tour on a bus like that. But no. Who knows what? He also probably didn't think he'd make the top Billboard charts, man. I guess that's true. So we'll see. Yeah. Never know what happened. Stories or poems or whatever you want to call them. There's kind of a, a, a linear narrative that kind of ties it all together. Just the young author's voice throughout it. Right. And what I was thinking for the record title was it was just the name that the author chose for the collection of stories. So it is. I think it's open to interpretation. We co-produced the record ourselves with um, our two friends that recorded it. Right. Engineer. So, um, they're really close friends of ours. We've recorded them with them. We recorded with them before, and they have a really good understanding of what we want as a band. So, um, it's a collective effort. I think they, they know how to help us accomplish things, and they suggest things when they need to. But for the most part, I think the best thing that they do is get it out of us. So, but it is a, it is a, a collective effort. Between chance to sit back and digest what you've done and get a feel for the process um, and be able to make edits and edits. Um, but for the most part we did it just out of necessity right the timing of everything trying to stay relevant touring and everything so um, and then balancing all of our personal lives back home so um, it was born of necessity but I think it did benefit us in a way that it gave us some time to let things settle in relationship with No Sleep is that it's been very mutually beneficial when, when we first decided to put out a record with No Sleep. No Sleep as a label was kind of where we were as a band um, very early on and kind of getting a feel for things. Um, and we've kind of had the opportunity to see Chris at the label and the label itself grow all along with our band. Right. Um, and then, um, yeah, Chris, Chris is another person that we work with that has very a very similar mindset and similar ideology. So. It's been fun to watch him branch out and welcome different bands into the, the roster. It is very, very much a family. Everyone knows everyone else. Buy a lot of shows a lot of bands out there. So um, it's cool. It's cool to be a part of a label that isn't just like a faceless entity. That, just putting out products. Right. Exactly. It's it's something that we all do. So it's it's, it's really great. A really great situation. Really great, so. I, 
I think it, there was such a, a shift towards digital music um, that people kind of, there was a kind of a backlash at a certain point where the quality of the music is kind of compromised by the MP3 format. Right. Um, and just not being able to hold something in your hands. So I think that with the CD kind of dying out, in a way, um, people and digital music become more popular, people wanted something that has a little bit more character and sounds better. We're always, um, we're a group of people that, that, I don't know, that we'll, it, it's a full product, it's a full, like, a full product, the record itself is something that we wanted to do more than just the songs. Um, so the artwork and the packaging and everything that went into it was really important to us. And that's really important to us with the music that we enjoy too. So I think it's just kind of a, a natural thing. our bass player. Okay. Bass. Um, taking, you know, we pretty early on had discussions about the you know, direction based on the themes and the structure of the record, so he kind of took the initial concepts and rolled with it, made it his own, and uh, took out of great. So you got an artist in the band, too. I do. It's an in-house like designer. In-house designer. <laughs> Convenient. Saves money, man. Definitely. Absolutely. That's a, an extension 